Well, Henri, thank you so much for coming to Portland and coming to our museum. And we're really excited about this upcoming exhibition, The Art of the Loose Twillery Garden. And thank you so much for sharing it with us. No, it's such a pleasure, you know. Talk to us a little bit about the role of that garden in Paris, if not one of the great public gardens, not only in Europe, if not the world. How does the garden function today, and how do you think the garden will evolve moving forward? I think it's something very special because it's part of the Louvre in a way, so it's, uh, at it, it's uh, really downtown Paris, you know, it's the center of Paris in, 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 in a way. So it's, it's, it's something which is um, uh, very special, I think. And it's a garden, but it's also a promenade. That mm. means you have many, many people who just go through the Tuileries Garden. They don't use it as a garden because you have this wonderful perspective, beginning at the Louvre, which goes to the Arc de Triomphe and then even further. So it's also part of uh, the central urbanism of, of, of Paris. So you have many different possible lectures, I would say, of, of, of the garden, but you cannot consider it only as a garden. It's yes. much more than that in a way. Yes. I mean, it's a gathering place, it's a place for big events to happen, mm -hmm. but it's also an intimate place at times as well with the artwork installed. And you've also discussed the architecture of the garden. Yeah. Talk a little bit about that. It's, you know, it's, it's a garden which is, uh, I, I don't know which will be the word, but a kind of architectural garden, because the place of architecture is very important. It's not only a botanical question when you discuss the, 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 the Tuileries. You have all these stairs, all these terraces, you know, so, so it's something which is closely linked to the architecture of the palace. And that's, uh, that's quite, quite important. So it's, it's also a place where since the 16th century, you have inside the garden important works of art. Uh, I mean, mainly uh, from the uh, 17, 18, 19th uh, century. But when we got the, um, the Tuileries Garden in 2004, we decided to renew this programmation of uh, contemporary art into the garden and to have new sculptures and uh, all around the garden and new projects for the garden also. Because it's a garden which evoluted just like the palace in a way, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's a garden which is uh, constantly redone, reworked. It's, it's a work in progress, yes. you know, it's a, not in a garden like, like it was in the 16 or 17 or 18 or 19th century. You know, it's, it's, you, 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 you see in this garden um, all the, um, the, the mark, the traces of uh, all these past uh, centuries. Yes, yeah. Well, you know, it's a space, too, personally, where I can be alone, but then also a space where I can feel part of thousands. And it's really a unique experience to be in those gardens. I think the other thing that's unique is not only the art, but the art with the nature. Beautiful shrubs and trees and flowers and smells and sounds and all of those things to go, come together in this, in this space. Mm -hmm. um, we, we're really excited about that because to try to how to transfer that into the exhibition through um, the artwork as well as some imagery and, and video as well. So it'll be, it'll be exciting. It's a living garden. That's very important, you know, and uh, you all well, always had it, you know, during the 18th, 19th century. Uh, you had music, for example, and you know, the painting by Manet, Musique aux Tuileries. So it was a place where you went to just to, to listen at music during the, uh, the spring and the, and the summer. And it's something which is still true. Yes. So it's not only a garden for tourists coming to the Louvre, you know, or going to the Place de la Concorde, but it's also a garden for Parisians. Yes. And that's, uh, that's quite important. Well, we're very grateful also, Henri. You have lent us, I think, some of the masterpieces uh, of the collection that have never traveled before. Um, and in particular, for me, some of the sculptures from Marley Court. Mm -hmm. Um, so we thank you for that. Any, any of those works in particular that you're very fond of or you know your audiences will miss? You know it, Brian, but when, when this is, we, we discussed the, the exhibition, it was important for me, but for Michael, for you also, to have uh, masterpieces included in this, uh, in this uh, exhibition. So, so we selected a few works, more than a few, because it's uh, finally a large, uh, a large number of great works, I think, in this, uh, in this uh, exhibition, just to, which are, the, let's say, the skeleton of this, uh, of this uh, 
exhibition works from the 16th, 17th, 18th, 19th century and today in a way because it's, uh, the, the, uh, as I told, the, the, it's still a living garden in a way. And that was important, but that's true that for the, the sculpture, which are normally part of the Cour Marly, you know, which is a very important space in the Louvre, a central space for sculpture in the Louvre, it was hard to say we will send it to Portland or to Atlanta for, for even for, for a few months because they have a very important place in this, in this courtyard. But finally we decided to do it, even for the first time, because I thought it was really important for exhibition. It makes the exhibition in a way. Well, that's, um, that's a great experience for us. Thank so thank you. Thank you thank, for your, for your you thoughts you. and thank you for, for your reflections on our museum as well as helping bring this exhibition to Portland.